Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. One thing I always admire Google about is its free Google Colab offering. Colab is a hosted Jupyter notebook service from Google that requires no setup to use and more importantly, it provides free of charge access to computing resources including GPUs and TPUs. Colab is especially well suited to machine learning, data science and education. And yes, I'll say it again, Colab is free of charge to use. I have not only installed uh, LLMs on it, I have done fine tuning on free Google Colab runtime and I have done heaps of tools and data science videos just by using Google Colab in the last couple of years. So really, I want to thank Google again for this amazing tool that is extremely generous when especially there is a lot of dearth of these GPUs. I believe that NVIDIA should have been doing this sort of stuff instead of Google because NVIDIA has a monopoly on GPU and still um, they are unwilling to do something really concrete for community. So that is just my two cents. Anyway, I digress. Now, if you have been a regular user of Google Colab, you might have seen this analyze file with Gemini button just below the first cell. This is something Google has released quite recently and this is yet another cool offering from them. This is primarily a data science agent or Google Gemini integration with Colab. It is an AI powered tool that generates complete executable notebooks. It also automates code generation for pre-processing, visualization and machine learning tasks. What I really like about it is that you can simply use a natural language text in order to talk with your files. You can analyze them and you can do a lot of data science related things on your files, especially the CSV files. Now, behind the scene, it uses Google's very powerful Gemini model, which we have covered a lot on the channel. So you don't really have to write any boilerplate code or you don't have to import any libraries. All you need to do is to just click on this button and then start using it. As soon as you click on it, not only it opens this window on the right hand side where you can talk with Gemini and it is asking you to analyze your file. So uh, you can't see it, but it also has opened a pop-up for me for my local system where I'm just going to select a CSV file, which I'm going to use for uh, analysis, just a sample CSV file, CSV file, which I have obtained from the web. So I'm just going to upload that file. It is being um, uploaded at the moment. So let's wait for it to get uploaded. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so you see it has been uploaded. It says financial samples, XLSX, and let me paste a couple of um, questions here which I'm going to ask. So first up, I'm just going to ask it uh, to perform a seasonal seasonality analysis on the unit sold column for each unique combination of segment, country and identify the top three segments with most. So you see, it is primarily a segment level seasonality analysis on my data. And this data is a sample data um, which contains some of the products, their unit sold and all that stuff. So let me simply click on here. It is thinking, which is a re it seems it's a reasoning model again, which is, I guess, the norm these days. So I will let it run to show you how quick that is. And this was the first time. So it has uploaded the file. It has converted it into its own format. And then uh, it is talking about that this is these are the tasks it can do on it. And then it is asking me that this was your task. So it has reasoned around it. It has created this plan that it is going to data load. It is explore, prepare, wrangling, which means that it is going to group it. It is going to calculate on the basis of those groups. And then it is going to do analysis, visualization, then finish tasks. So I'll just say, okay, execute the plan. It is asking, are you sure to continue? Your notebook will be connected to a new runtime and some notebook functionality will be disabled. It may take several minutes, that is fine. So I'm just going to click on continue. So I will wait for it to finish while it finishes. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. 
It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back and check. Oh wow. So I'll just go up. So this is a task. So all the planning and skeleton which it created earlier, it has started executing it. So this was a task I gave it. This was a data. It is loading the data and then it is. Uh, so this is Excel file. It has generated that data frame. This is the sample data which you can check out here. So there is a segment which is government, mid market, country, products, discount, unit sold and pricing and then lot of other uh, data with the number and stuff. And then if I go down there is a subtask. Again it is doing reasoning on it. And then in the so not only defines the subtask but it also gives us a reasoning around it where it is displaying it. And then this is, and it is all in real time. So not only it is generating the code and then what it does with it, it also shows you how cool is that. Look at this. Amazing stuff. And then it is preparing the data. In this one, the reasoning is to convert the data column to uh, date time object, set it as index, handle missing values and all that stuff. This is the code it has generated. It is also printing out some of the sample data here. As you can see, column, null count and stuff. And now, it is doing data wrangling where it is grouping the data and performing the time series decomposition because that is what my natural language prompt induced. And this is the code it has written. I haven't done a thing except pasting my prompt and clicking on that button. And this has been done by this. So it has got some error, which is fine. It can go back and reason through it. You see, it says that it previous attempt failed due to missing frequency. It is resampling the data. Those are data wrangling is going again. Again, it is writing the rewriting the code, skipping, and then again, it is reasoning through it. Again, it is skipping some of the problematic channels before, from before, and then again, it is doing a lot of data wrangling. And this code has been created by Gemini. Now, if you have seen data scientist uh, at work, you see that they take months and months and months doing this sort of job and they are very expensive. But this where we have this agent which is doing these things by itself. Right now it is failing, but I'm not going to edit it. I'm going to show you as is. So the point here is that just like a data scientist, a human one, this also takes multiple iterations on the code and the data and it goes on and on and it takes several minutes, maybe hours to get this done and that depends upon your data. So let's wait for it to go on. And there you go. So it has finally did the categorical distributions, time series and even 2D categorical distribution. You can even keep going. You can generate code with this. You can do a new interactive sheet and you can again chat with it and keep doing a more analytics, more data science stuff on it. So the point here is that things have really, really progressed a lot. I have just fed a data into it and it has done a wonderful work just on the basis of a text prompt. Very early days, of course, there will be a lot of iterations on it, improvements, but you can already see where the things are going. So if you're a data scientist, I think you should also uh, start, um, you know, uplifting, upgrading yourself to be more AI compatible so that you could use it as, uh, I would say, a support for your job um, because a lot of things will be automated very, very soon or maybe they already are. Anyway, let me know what do you think, especially if you're a data scientist. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.